This is going to be a very, very fun video. I mean, I've been looking forward to watching a video like this. So, top countries by military spending. I think this starts from 1871, right? Or 1870. So, we're probably going to see how the U.S. went from not spending anything to being the highest spenders. I mean, that's that's predictable, I think. But let's just see the grad, how gradually it went from some point to some point. This, this should be really fun. Okay, France, German Federation. Okay. What? Let's look at the US. Okay, Russian Empire. the US. What the hell? Man, Russia were not playing. France. I mean, look at the UK. Oh, wow, wow, wow. What happened to France, though? What happened to France? France went from a country that prioritized their military so much to a point where, I mean, I'm more interested in social stuff now. And that's fine. That is fine. That is fine. I'm not saying that. Like, I've always felt that too much spending on the military is like, I mean, <laughs> what are you planning for? But I'm actually surprised that France were this high, even at this point. I always felt that after, like, Napoleon, that France just went soft. I'm actually surprised that the UK was on number one throughout all these periods because I've always felt that the UK until the 1950s were like the ultimate warriors when it came to military. But I'm really surprised that they, they didn't spend this much, that much. That. Okay. German Empire. Oh, the Germans are off now. The US are nowhere to be found. I mean, even Italy. What? Austria or Hungary, very close to them. What the hell? this okay the US is coming up whoa 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 calm down calm down okay what the hell okay now now the UK now is now showing what was this period 1899 what happened during 1899 what made the UK so I mean look at the gap Look at the gap, $523 million compared to the second uh, country, which is the, uh, Russia, 213. What happened? What happened during that period? Guys, tell me down in the comments if you know. That should be a reason why the UK jumped that high, gapping the other people like this. That should be a reason. By the way, why did the US fly to the top line and then come down again? What happened that year? Guys, help me down in the comments if you know, please. What happened that year that made the US fly to the top like that? Then come down again. Oh! Oh, okay. Japan. <laughs> okay, they're wrong. Okay. That didn't last. That didn't last. Russian Empire. Guess it close to World War One. Germans are beginning to pick up the UK. 
guys, look at the United States. Jesus Christ. Things are picking up. The US, uh, the UK, 6 billion. 6.7 billion. Germany, 5.7 billion. France, wow. Russia. Look at the US, 417 million. What happened? Like, okay, obviously, the US, they really have enemies. Like, I think that's why I think I've said it on this channel already a lot of times. The US have this luxury of having two large oceans protecting them. That is basically another money that doesn't have to be spent for defense. Seriously, just by those two large oceans protecting them. Though the U.S. are now spending so much money when they don't even, probably don't really need to because of, now they are now more of like the the police, the world police now. Because in terms of the defense of their country, they don't really need this much money that they spend currently. But due to the fact that they are like the world police now, so they have to spend more. But outside of that, they don't really need to, to be honest with you. Um, they have these two large oceans protecting them, and this at this point it should it should. Oh, oh, oh. what happened? Nineteen nineteen. Nothing happened that period in the U.S. Now, right? Nothing happened. Nothing happened during that period for the U.S. Did did they go to any war? I can't remember. They, they, they didn't go to any war during that period, right? Jeez. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, it's, it's the change from Russia to Soviet Union. What the hell? I mean, the way that one just jumped to the top, I was like, what? <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Germany is coming up now. Man, it's obvious in your crazy. this jeez the Soviet Union <laughs> they were not sparing any they were not sparing any any money at all 1930s then how, how was it possible that Germany were able to threaten them that much if they spent this much by 1930 guys tell me that in the comments how were they able to be threatened that much by Germany in the in World War II if they spent this much in 1930 it makes no sense <laughs> All this time we can't even find we can't even see China anywhere. <laughs> we can't even see China anywhere, man. You can't even see Japan here. Yeah. Okay. Nazi Germany is coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Okay. Wow, look at the Soviet Union going down. What happened? Why did they start going down like that? Look at this. That's 22 billion. Jesus Christ. What? The UK. Okay. Eh, UK is normal stuff. Eh, not really surprising. Look at France. No wonder Germany were able to just bully them. Like. Mm. The United States. This is after the start of World War II. That means the U.S. were outspending Nazi Germany during this period. How? What were they doing? What were they doing during this, during this period that they were able to outspend Nazi Germany? Man, the U.S. is crazy. <laughs> Germany is out of it totally. And so World War II has ended at that point. Hmm. 
I know from this point now, the U.S. and Soviet Union will be struggling now for like the next 30 to 40 years. I'm, I'm predicting that I think I'm right. <laughs> Look at China. China is coming up gradually now. Yeah. After being bullied by Japan during World War II. <laughs> uh, Japan is nowhere to be found here. Japan is nowhere to be found here. After being bullied by Japan, China is coming up now. This is crazy, man. What is of fun for the At some point, the Soviets are spent the United States in 1972. That is mad. That is actually shocking, though. I actually thought from that point that the U.S. is not coming down again. Wow, okay. I'm sure the U.S. came back with a vengeance. <laughs> A full vengeance, and I'm very sure after this point, I'm not coming down again. Saudi Arabia, China is coming down. What, what happened to China? Wait, 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 wait. What happened to China during that period? Guys, help me down in the comments. That has to be asked. Something must have happened drastically that made them to come down that drastically. Something must have happened that was very, very serious that made them to come down that drastically. Is that what happened? The Soviet Union couldn't compete again at this point.
Saudi Arabia, I'm actually surprised. Okay, India is coming up. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. <laughs> US went nuts. <laughs> they went absolutely nuts. I mean, seriously, like, look at the gap, man. What the hell? And to be honest, if you look at the other countries' uh, spending, military spending, it's, you know, it's me understandable. You know, normally every country needs some kind of defense, and it's understandable. But the US, they're so out that are spending to astronomical levels. Astronomical levels. Jesus Christ, look at the gap. That was crazy. The US went absolutely nuts with that one, man. <laughs> that is crazy. What? Ah, towards the end there it was it was not a competition anymore. It wasn't. That's why I always say in a conventional war, nobody has a chance against the United States. Nobody. Nobody whatsoever. Like even if and that's why one of, one of my first videos I watched on my channel was the U.S. against the world. A conventional war, the U.S. will probably win the world. I'm serious. They'll probably, they'll probably win the world in a conventional war. European countries that are with the world powers during 100 years or 200 years ago, those countries are basically like U.S. bitches now. Let's be real. That those countries answer to the U.S., do everything that the U.S. wants them to do. For the most part, now that sometimes they try to be stubborn, but... Finally, finally, they still do things that the United States tells them to do. So these European countries are supposed to be like the, you know, opposition or some, some people that can actually compete, can't even compare with the United States. Then you have the likes of China and Russia who are the, like the, the, the last two people, or maybe India, that could compete. India don't really want to fight like that. China, oh, okay. Well, I mean, they, are, they want to fight, but they, can, they, 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 don't, they just can't compete. You know? Then you have uh, Russia. I mean, Russia has these nuclear bombs, which is giving them the power. And I guess if you are a country that cannot compete with the United States when it comes to military spending, all you can do is to do nuclear weapons. That is it. Like, at least, that is how you can equalize it. Because you cannot compete with them in terms of uh, military spending. Because they have the taxpayers to pay this money. The U.S. has the richest set of people in the world. Most billionaires are in the United States. The majority of the billionaires are in the, are in the, are in the, are in the U.S. The U.S. has the richest people in the world, whether I like it or not. Now, per capita, that may not be the case. Um, I think countries like Switzerland, Sweden, Norway could have a different uh, thing to say about that. But in terms of just mass wealth, just the wealth available, it's the United States. It's not even, it's not even comparable. So there's enough taxes there for the U.S. to get to do all, spend all this money. Other countries, they, 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 they just can't compete. Like, it's unfair. It's an unfair battle. The U.S. just went absolutely nuts. Seriously. And every year I see, it almost seems like this, their budget, military budget keeps increasing every year, which is fine. I mean, you have to maintain your position as a superpower, so I guess that's what you have to do. But crazy stuff, man. This was fun. I really, I knew I would enjoy this video, though. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed it with me. If you did, hit the like button to get this video out to more people. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Just subscribe, subscribe, please. And hit the like button. If you don't like the, the video, the YouTube will think you don't, that you hate it. I mean, seriously, that's what they will think. So please like the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.